Hi, everyone. Welcome to Open House 2020. Uh, welcome back, my junior cohort uh, parents. Just a reminder, I am Kay Yerub, and again, very delighted to be with this group for the third year. This is, this is usually the real fun year. The third and fourth year really get fun. Unfortunately, we're starting in a, in a weird way here, but we're going to definitely make the most of it and do the best we can with it. So I'll try to keep this short and to the point and let you know what the important things are here. But um, again, I'm excited to work with these guys for the third year. So a couple of just general things, just a reminder that this year they're actually going to get dual credit with Harper College. They're going to get the college algebra credit of that. The dual credit part of it does not start until second semester. So second semester, we'll actually sign them up. They will become a Harper College student. They'll get an ID number and the whole thing. And, um, and then they'll get their credit. Um, so we'll, we'll deal with that second semester. But again, a cool thing that they're going to get the college credit that transfers this year. And then also, now this, this year's credit is guaranteed credit as long as they get a C or above. And then um, next year is the a they'll take the AP test to again try to get credit. The senior year credit's not guaranteed like this junior year credit is. Okay. Um, so again, kind of weird that we're starting here um, remote, but I want to show you some things and kind of show you what we do on a daily basis now that we're remote. So I'm just going to share my screen real here, quick, real here, so you can see it. And the first thing I'm going to show you when it comes up is what we call Class Kick. It's an app that I use often. And we use it just about every day in class. So what's great about it is it's literally a virtual notebook. The kids will have their notes in here. Some of the notes are what I have written. Some of the notes is, are, are what they have practiced and stuff like that. But you'll notice it's dated. Um, and then as they're taking it, I can see what they're doing in there. I can click on their slide and I can comment and say, hey, it looks like you're not understanding this right here. So I can communicate with them that way. Um, if, if they're absent, this is a great resource because they can look back and say, oh, I was absent on the 21st. What did we do? What did they do in class? And they can come back and look at this. So this is called Class Kick. It's a great app. Um, if we were in class, person to person, I wouldn't be using this, but this is about as good as it gets here for remote learning for, for me, I think. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that we're using that. Also, I wanted to show you that this is an app, it's called Calculate 84. I know that in the last two years, I brought in the graphing calculators for them to use. Can't do that, obviously, this year, so this app is... Perfect, they, have, they all have it downloaded. It works just like the graphing calculator, so it's great. The only thing I've suggested to them is maybe download it on their cell phone or if they have a second device, just so that they don't have to flip back and forth when we're in class kick or if they're taking a quiz or, or a test or something like that, like you see me do. I have to kind of bounce back and forth between my apps here. Um, so again, we're using Schoology as we always have. Um, these dates, the very first thing up here, they're very tentative, and I say that because of the remote learning. It's going to be a little difficult to stay on track. You'll notice the first um, test was scheduled for Wednesday the 26th, and we moved that back to Friday the 28th. So, I mean, these are going to be adjusted a little bit as we go here. Keep in mind, we normally have 90 minutes, and now, obviously, we're only going 60 minutes. So, even though the kids are getting double the time, we're still losing some of that, some of that 90 minutes in there. Um, the other thing I want to show you in Schoology, so I'm doing this only because we're remote. I don't normally do this because normally I would have this written on the board, but you'll notice that I have, oh, look at there, there's Casper's birthday. So I, I just, it, it's called, what do we do today? Sorry, I went too fast. What are we doing today? So I have that down just so the kids can see, okay, what are we doing? Normally I would write this up on the board and so as the kids walk in, they kind of see what we're doing and that, and that type of thing. But this gives them an idea of what's gonna happen for the day. And also if they're absent, they can look back and say, oh, okay, we, you know, this is what we worked on. They could go into class kick and, and find what we worked on 
and go from there. So that's something new I put into Schoology this year. Otherwise, these are all the sections we're gonna do. Um, this is a tough year. I, I'm not gonna lie, this is it's gonna be pretty intense. Now, I'm not gonna leave anybody behind and, and we'll keep everybody going forward here, but it is gonna be a pretty intense, intense year. Good thing is, is um, you know, they know me, they trust me, they know that I'm not gonna just, you know, leave them astray and stuff. So I think we're gonna be okay. The course syllabus, I'm gonna go in here, I'm just gonna keep moving here because I know we're on a time constraint. If we take a look at the syllabus in here, first of all, again, just a reminder on my email, as always, please email me with any questions or concerns. The kids are very good at this point, they're very comfortable with me. They know that if they have an issue, they can email me personally, so that's usually not a problem. These are all the critical learning standards this year. Um, we're gonna have to do a little bit more with the trig towards the end of the year. You'll see that really there's only like one or two units with trig down there at the end. But last year in the spring, we kind of got cut short, so I'll probably do a little bit more with the trig there. That's key in order to, to be able to do the calculus next year. But otherwise, this, this is what these are our critical learning standards for the year. Um, also, the weights are a little bit different. If you remember, we've always had a final exam. And that final exam has been 20% of their grade. Uh, that's changed this year because we're not giving final exams the traditional way. We'll, we're still gonna give a final exam at the end of the year, but that final exam will go into the assessment category there. So assessments, tests are worth 75% and the coursework is worth 25%. Coursework includes the math Excel homework, quizzes, classwork, that kind of thing. That kind of thing. Also, one thing I want to note here in the big box down here, it says, please note the Harper final college grade and the Hoffman Estates grade could be different. We finished the Harper part of the material around March and their Harper grade is finalized at that point. And then at that point, we start getting into a little bit of the calculus. So grades can change. So just know that, you know, if four years from now, you look back at your Hoffman Estates grade and compare it to your Harper College grade, it may be different, okay? So just know that that could happen. Standard scale that we've always had, nothing new there. Um, you know, as far as grading procedures and things like that, nothing has really changed. The one thing I do ask with the remote learning is I ask that the students have their camera on, you know, because it's really hard to interact and, and these guys know me and they're comfortable with me and it's still like pulling teeth to get them, you know, to turn on their videos and talk to me. So please just encourage your son or daughter to keep that video on it at all, when at all possible. Um, other than that, I'm very excited, like I said, for this year, very excited that they're gonna get some college credit this year and really get rewarded for all of their hard work. And then next year is the calculus part of it. And then they have another chance at getting some college credit. So very excited. Um, I hope that we get to be in person very, very soon. But until then, this is how we, this is how we work. Again, any questions, any concerns, please don't hesitate to email me or contact me. We're gonna have a great year. And uh, I, hope, I hope everyone thinks that because we, we should have a good year. So thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for watching this. And we will see you when we see you. Bye.